Kololo grounds, the exact location where the Union Jack was lowered and the Ugandan flag raised at midnight on 9th October 1962. And today, it was filled to capacity as thousands gathered to celebrate Uganda's Golden Jubilee. Gracing the ceremony were over 10 African heads of state, including Kenya's Mwai Kibaki, Rwanda's Paul Kagame, Zimbabwe's Robert Mugabe, Somalia's new president Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, Democratic Republic of Congo's Joseph Kabila, and Burundi's Pierre Nkurunziza, among others. Other delegates included His Highness the Aga Khan and the Duke of Kent, Prince Edward. And there was jubilation as the host, President Yuri Museveni, along with the First Lady, arrived for the occasion. Filled with national pride, Ugandans sang along to the smooth tunes of the band playing the national anthem. And it was with pride that the president cited Uganda's achievements in the past 50 years. The sight of the disciplined forces sufficient to lead credence to his claims. We decisively handled that factor of a criminal colonial state by disbanding the colonial army and building a new army guided by the ideology of patriotism, led by educated people, professionally competent, and poor people in his attitude. President Museveni also spoke of the growth of the economy, an improved education system, and the establishment of a democratic system of governance, among others. We are now generating 810 megawatts. This gives us a kilowatt hour per capita of 215. We are aiming at 20,000 megawatts in the next few years. Museveni's vision for the future is to transform Uganda into a first-class country within the next few years. With this awareness, plus our anticipated oil revenues, Uganda, without any doubt, will become a medium-income country in the next few years, and certainly a first-world country in the next 50 years. A call for investors both nationally and internationally was highlighted as one of the ways in which the country's economic growth and development can be boosted. And thus, Uganda takes its first baby step into the next era, filled with a vision of a brighter tomorrow. They have done a great job. Now history has been written here at Kololo Independence Grounds as Uganda marked 50 years of independence. Now many of the speeches here have been full of praises to the different leaders who have brought this country this far and also wishing the country a prosperous future ahead of the next 50 years. The occasion and ceremony here has been full of color and jubilations as Ugandans cheered the Ugandan flag being raised. Sam Setumba has the details of the color story. <laughs> 